Hey guys, it's your girl Jazzy. I wanted to jump on and make a video today about the 28 day cleanse I just started. Well, I'm about a week in now, but I have been getting lots of questions about it and I've addressed it briefly on my Instagram story, but um, I wanna tell you exactly why I'm doing it and kind of like the details and the backstory about it. For starters, I got the idea to do a 28 day cleanse from the medical medium. Um, his books have been so popular all along social media so I figure I'll check out the book myself and I ended up loving the book so much. Um, so I decided to do the 28 day cleanse myself. I think that many of us have no idea how good our bodies are designed to feel and we kind of just accept these daily discomforts as just like a reality of life and we don't ever try to heal from them and that's unfortunate because our bodies are created to heal and if we give them the right tools then they'll kind of do their thing and they'll, um, they'll heal. Things such as like acne and bloating and brain fog, migraines, joint pains, muscle pains, fatigue. Um, you know, there's like so many things that many of us experience every day and we kind of just assume that there's no solution for them and we just accept it. However, this book addresses those in detail and it just, it just shows that with the right plant food, um, you're able to heal from basically everything. What I like about the medical medium is he doesn't claim any type of um, like food diet choice. Um, he's very unbiased, so he doesn't claim paleo or vegan or vegetarian or nothing like that. He just kind of lays out all of the facts and allows the reader to make their decision on how they want to live. So the rules of the cleanse are actually very simple. It's obviously 28 days long. You can only eat raw food. So that's like uh, obviously your fruit, your vegetables. You can't eat nuts or seeds. Different from regular raw vegan diets that do allow nuts and seeds, this is just straight fruits and vegetables uncooked. It actually even recommends that you don't eat avocado. Uh, and if you do, only like half of one which is crazy for me because I would eat like, I'm not kidding, two to four avocados a day, like the big ones too. So that has been one of the biggest struggles for me, but I'll get more into that in a second. So the details of the cleanse is every single morning I wake up and the first thing that I do before I drink water, before anything, drink fresh celery juice. The moment you juice it is when you should drink it. Otherwise, it oxidizes and just loses some of the benefits. That is designed specifically to target your digestion. And since so many things are related to your digestion, um, you just feel better overall. I've noticed that I've been able to wake up earlier and before I used to kind of, my days would start off a bit slow. It also includes a heavy metals detox smoothie, which I put the recipe as well as the ingredients on my Instagram live. The heavy metals detox includes very simple ingredients, wild blueberries, spirulina, duels, Atlantic duels to be specific. Um, I put in bananas and dates because it makes it really sweet and easy to drink. And it also asks that you put in barley, grass, juice powder, or cilantro. Blend it into a smoothie, you can add other ingredients if you want to, and that is supposed to bind to the heavy metals that are lingering in your body. The reason why everyone should incorporate something, some type of heavy metals detox is we all have heavy metals, we're always constantly being exposed to heavy metals. Um, in the air, in the environment, in our food. So you really can't escape them. So you don't have to be afraid of them. Just take measures to cleanse them out because if they start to creep into certain areas of the body and start saturating that area of the body, you can start experiencing illnesses. That smoothie is the first meal of my day. And the way that I make it, it's about 500 calories. It's very calorie dense, so I like that. Another thing that the heavy metals detox Asks is that you consume a lot of fruit and a lot of varieties of fruit. Since fruit is so healing and so good for the body, it's important that if you're cleansing out metals, you also flush in some fruit so that way your body can do its work and heal. I love this because I used to, if you watched my last video, I used to avoid things like bananas and mangoes and other fruits that are high in carbs and sugar, like pineapple as well, because I was always under the impression that like all sugar is bad, including fruit sugar. So I would keep my fruit to a minimum and usually load up on my greens. 
So this cleanse has been kind of a nice change because I'm obsessed with mango and I'm obsessed with pineapple, so that's been nice. So although I don't feel like I have any type of illness per se, there are a few expectations that I have that I'm hoping will heal with the cleanse. For example, I do hope that this cleanse does help with, with my skin. Um, I've talked about it before, but for several years since high school, I've had acne. Um, I would break out all along my jawline, um, sometimes a little bit on my forehead. And although my skin is not perfect, it has gotten a lot better just taking care of my gut health and um, getting rid of some of the processed stuff that I would include in my diet a lot. So I'm hoping that with the cleanse, it like improves my skin. Especially living here in Vegas now, my skin has been really, really dry. So um, I'm hoping that it'll allow my skin to retain more moisture and just feel better overall. I do have some rough spots along my arms. I mean, I guess not rough, but they're just not as smooth as the skin on the rest of my body. And I feel like it might be eczema or maybe psoriasis, but from the images I saw on Google, I feel like it could be one or the other. I don't know if you can see, but I have some white blotches and just skin discoloration on my arms and it's the same on this side here. So I'm hoping that with the cleanse, it starts to go away or at least um, look a lot better. I also frequently experience like midday crashes. So I'll have like tons of energy and then around two o'clock, I'll just feel really tired and I just will want to lay down so bad. So um, I'm hoping that with the cleanse, it starts to go away. I already feel that getting better. I have not taken a nap at all today. So that's a plus because usually I like to take a midday nap. That I heard could be a result of adrenal fatigue um, or just eating huge meals in one sitting, which is like so me. I, I really don't believe in snacking. Like I've never been into snacking. I like to just have really big giant meals three times a day. So it really could be because of that. My body is like working really hard to digest everything that I just ate. With the raw food, it's been easier because uh, obviously raw fruit and vegetables digest really fast. So I'm hoping that I can have just more consistent energy throughout the day with this cleanse. Last thing I'm hoping will improve is my vision. Since I was a super young kid, I've had issues with my vision. Um, I have very bad vision actually, and it has gotten a little bit better, which was shocking because all into my adult life, it's been getting progressively worse. But my last appointment, it did get a little bit better, so there's hope. I have heard that people have healed their vision before with um, a very clean diet, so maybe I can get that experience too. My experience so far being a week in is I had no idea how much produce I was going to go through. Like I normally fill my cart up with produce just on a regular day-to-day -day grocery trip, but this time it's like crazy. The entire conveyor belt full of freaking fruit and vegetables, it's crazy. It has also been a little bit of a challenge getting enough calories in considering how active I am in the day and how much I work out. So uh, I've, as you know, vegetables are like basically zero calories or like an entire container of spinach. You get lucky if you get like 50 calories out of it. So it's been a little bit of an added effort to get all the calories in. I've had to rely a lot on dates, um, a lot on bananas and mangoes and pineapples. Fortunately, I really like those things. Well, I don't like dates so much, but if you blend them with your smoothie, it tastes fine. It's forced me to get creative and just make these really like robust dishes and these big, gorgeous, colorful salads. And I've been mixing ingredients together that I've never tried together before. So that's been fun. I've learned that the key to this is not to get hungry. If you wait until you're hungry, that's when all the cravings come. That's when Jack in the Box tacos start looking really Really good like all these things that you don't even crave on a day-to-day -day basis if you wait until you get hungry on a raw cleanse girl you're gonna be craving all kinds of wild stuff but anyway that's the gist of the raw vegan cleanse um, I will update weekly um, do like physique updates so far I do feel like my waist feels a little bit smaller and I feel like my muscle is still there so that's a benefit I know a lot of people that do these types of cleanses are concerned about muscle retention whether or not they're gonna lose all their gains so I will be the experiment um, at the end of the 28 day cleanse I'm going to put everything together and do like a vlog so that way you can see the whole journey the things that I would eat um, as well as like physique updates and stuff so you can 
see, well, so we can both see once and for all if this type of eating is good for sustaining muscle and an active lifestyle. So we'll find out together. But anyway, if you are interested in doing the 28 day cleanse, I highly recommend that you get the medical medium. Um, I've just been so freaking hyped on what I read and all the new knowledge I got that I'm just like talking about it all the time, I feel like. But it's a great book, you should check it out, and you should try the 28 day cleanse, especially if you're experiencing any type of like sickness or illness or discomfort in your life, it doesn't have to be that way. So um, anyhow, I'll talk to you later.